Welcome to a journey through the sacred pages of the Bible where timeless stories unfold, revealing profound wisdom and guidance for our lives today. We embark on a thoughtful exploration of the importance of discretion and privacy in the context of biblical narratives. As we delve into these stories, we will discover hidden treasures of spiritual encounters, family matters, early victories, financial increase, and career endeavors, all intertwined with the delicate art of holding one's peace. Join us as we draw inspiration from the lives of biblical figures and glean insights that resonate with the essence of safeguarding sacred moments. Today, we will explore the importance of guarding our spiritual encounters and keeping certain experiences private. Drawing from biblical examples and profound wisdom, we discover the significance of honoring the sacredness of these moments and the potential consequences of sharing them prematurely. By learning to discern when to speak boldly and when to cultivate inner silence, we can deepen our intimacy with the divine and experience the safety, power, and beauty that come from holding our peace. Don't miss out on this eye-opening exploration of the hidden depths of your spiritual journey. Subscribe now and join us on this transformative path of wisdom and understanding. Imagine if I were to inform you about the existence of hidden knowledge that should never be disclosed by chosen individuals. Even you must possess certain information that should never be shared carelessly. It's quite intriguing, isn't it? However, it's true. There is immense power in maintaining silence, a strength that often goes unnoticed. In fact, silence can be the most impactful statement you make. By remaining silent, you cultivate an air of mystery, becoming less predictable and consequently less vulnerable. It serves as a strategic approach to keep your adversaries guessing and off balance. In this enlightening video, I intend to discuss five essential matters that God's chosen ones should never reveal or discuss publicly. Some issues are meant to be kept confidential solely between you and the Lord. Let's delve into them. Firstly, your future plans and dreams should be kept private. The enemy has limited insight into your future and operates best when making assumptions. The more information he can gather through your loose talk, the more ammunition he possesses to undermine God's intentions for you. Proverbs 29 verse 11 warns that a fool expresses all their thoughts, but the wise hold them in until the appropriate time. Learn the wisdom of maintaining your silence concerning the revelations God has shown you about your destiny. Avoid hastily announcing visions that may not yet be clear or firmly established. Consider the example of Mary, the mother of Jesus, who was informed about her miraculous role in giving birth to the Messiah. This precious promise was intended for silent incubation within her heart only to be revealed when God's timing was appropriate. Visionaries understand that dreams are like delicate babies requiring protection and nurturing during their early stages. Prematurely sharing them can expose you to misunderstanding, skepticism, and attacks at the wrong time. Instead of seeking superficial validation from the public, it is wiser to quietly commit your visions to prayer. God may lead you to share fragments with trusted confidants for agreement, but resist the temptation to excitedly broadcast unfinished dreams that require patient cultivation in the secret place. Wait until God gives the green light. Keep your divine glimpses private and learn to steward revelations with wisdom and maturity, avoiding impulsive behavior. The future unfolds best when you don't provide the enemy with intelligence through incessant reporting of what God has shown you. There is safety in silence. The second crucial aspect that chosen individuals must keep discreet is family matters. This includes marital disputes, health concerns, financial pressures, relational conflicts with children, and other sensitive issues. It is essential not to carelessly expose these matters to your inner circle. Some individuals never seem to keep their family matters private, which is a destructive behavior that can rapidly deteriorate your family bonds. Not every little thing that occurs between you and your spouses should be made public. Even in times of disagreement, it is often better to address the issue within the privacy of your home. You should not become a spectacle to others simply because you can't keep your thoughts to yourself. Most of the people you share your family problems with have their own issues, but they rarely disclose them to you. So why do you feel the need to publicize your own family matters to others? It is an ill-conceived notion. While it is commonly said that a problem shared is a problem solved, this does not apply in every case. 
Sometimes it depends on whom you choose to share your problems with. Sharing with the wrong person can turn a shared problem into a multiplied one. Proverbs 17 advises that fostering love means covering offenses, and 1 Peter 4 verse 8 encourages deep love for one another as love covers a multitude of sins. Avoid oversharing personal problems on social media or engaging in casual gossip with coworkers and neighbors. By doing so, you prevent vultures from gaining legal access and seeking opportunities for accusation. Refrain from making your family vulnerable by exposing their imperfections to a fault-finding audience. As the priest of your home, handle issues privately and protect your inner circle from unnecessary scrutiny. Seek help only from spiritually mature counselors who respect confidentiality. Consider the example of Mary, who wisely kept her family matters private. Instead of rushing to complain to her cousin Elizabeth about her betrothed Joseph's initial decision to leave her upon discovering her pregnancy, this matter required wisdom and privacy. Avoid taking the enemy's bait of resentment or bitterness against loved ones. Steer clear of slander that poisons how others perceive your family. Any dysfunction should be an opportunity to extend grace and forgiveness. God desires to heal and restore relationships but in the context of love and secrecy, not expose drama. Practice restraint instead of impulsively oversharing, as once words are spoken, they cannot be fully retracted. A third area of discipline for God's chosen ones is learning to keep early victories and breakthroughs private. When God blesses you with favor, promotions, financial increase, or new opportunities, it can be tempting to announce it to the world instantly. However, Proverbs 21 verse 5 reminds us that haste leads to poverty, while the plans of the diligent lead to profit. Your breakthrough is still delicate, so wait for God's timing before unveiling it publicly. Impatience can jeopardize the fullness of the promise. When King Saul was anointed, the prophet Samuel instructed him to keep it private for a time. In 1 Samuel 10, Samuel advised Saul that once the signs were fulfilled, he should do whatever his hand found to do because God was with him. However, Samuel did not instruct Saul to broadcast on Facebook that God was with him. It was considered a sacred secret. Similarly, David defeated Goliath when he was still a novice warrior. If he'd started boasting prematurely, the enemy could have swiftly eliminated him before his reign was established. Thus, David remained silent and waited on the Lord for the next steps. For instance, if God grants you significant early business success, it is advisable to avoid the limelight until your increase stabilizes. Joseph exemplified this by not boasting of his gifting until he was mature and ready to lead publicly. Publicizing a fledgling breakthrough invites unnecessary spiritual attacks, jealousy, and competition. It is wise to silently establish your foundation before unveiling the fruit. Enemies are confounded by mysterious maturity. Young entrepreneurs often make the mistake of proudly declaring early traction in their startups that is not yet stable or permanent. Avoid hasty publicity that tries to leverage quick wins that have not yet solidified. There will be time for more public celebrations later. Allow God to mature your increase out of the limelight before unveiling it. Impatience can lead to attacks, envy, and complications. Another unwise action that chosen individuals often engage in is openly boasting about financial increase and possessions. In this age of social media, many fall prey to pride and showing off. However, ostentatious displays often lead to catastrophe. Proverbs 13 verse 11 warns that dishonest money dwindles away, but gathering money little by little makes it grow. The wise understand that wealth multiplies through diligent private accumulation not through bragging. Avoid the trap of seeking validation by flaunting lavish purchases, vacations, homes, and other vain status symbols that shift trust away from God. Do not evaluate your self-worth based on fleeting riches, 
Instead, focus on spiritual maturity and responsible stewardship, which lead to lasting prosperity. Rather than envying those who flaunt opulence, embrace the hidden dignity of modest living. Necessity often paves the way for financial breakthrough, and reckless spending undermines stability. Prioritize pleasing God over impressing others. Keep precise financial information, such as income statements, investments, savings balances, and inheritances, private, even from extended family if possible. Avoid attracting unwanted lawsuits, jealousy, manipulation, greed, or theft by boasting about money. Quiet confidence in God's provision and gratitude for what you have are more important than flashy extravagance to prove your worth. Seek first God's kingdom, and prosperity will follow in due time. In addition to maintaining privacy regarding your financial status, it is also wise for chosen individuals to exercise discretion regarding career endeavors. When God opens doors for promotions, new jobs, or opportunities, refrain from broadcasting every detail about your professional advancements and workplace relationships on social media. Oversharing can make you a target for envy, sabotage, unrealistic expectations from others, and even spiritual attacks that aim to disrupt divine alignments. Instead of constantly posting about achievements, continue to excel with quiet humility and a consistent work ethic. As Proverbs 27 verse 2 suggests, let someone else praise you. Avoid boasting about your own accomplishments. Of course, it is appropriate to share general progress with trusted mentors and family, but resist the temptation to overtly showcase every milestone to the public where envy and pride reside. Divine promotion comes without striving when we allow God to naturally elevate us in His proper timing as we focus on obeying His voice. The final crucial aspect that chosen individuals must protect is their spiritual encounters. These include dreams, visions, angelic visitations, prophecies, and other divine mysteries revealed to them. While there may be times when God intends for you to share a testimony to encourage others, many profound moments with Him are meant solely for your own understanding. Avoid hastily turning sacred spiritual events into casual conversation pieces. Mary's visitation announcing her immaculate pregnancy was a secret that was only revealed later when the timing permitted. Similarly, John was instructed not to write about the thunders he heard in Revelation. Paul heard inexpressible things in Corinthians which he acknowledged were not permitted to be shared. Some revelations are like babies still developing in the womb, if they are prematurely revealed in the wrong environments, they may not survive. Learn to be an incubator of what God imparts until He instructs you to openly reveal it. Avoid treating deep spiritual experiences as light chatter to satisfy curiosity and refrain from reducing holy encounters to impressive sermon illustrations for personal glory. Honor the Lord by keeping intimacy with Him private. May the Lord grant us wisdom to discern when to speak boldly and when to cultivate inner silence before Him alone. There is safety, power, and beauty in learning the sacred art of holding your peace. As we conclude our journey through these Bible stories, we find ourselves standing on the hallowed ground of wisdom and understanding. The lives of biblical figures serve as timeless lessons urging us to tread carefully in matters of revelation, family, success, wealth, and career. In the sacred text, we see the delicate balance between sharing our experiences and protecting the sanctity of divine moments. May we carry these lessons forward, cultivating discernment in our lives and learning the sacred art of holding our peace as we navigate the complexities of our spiritual journey. May the wisdom gleaned from the Bible stories guide us, offering safety, power, and beauty in the sacred spaces of our lives. Amen. Thank you for watching our video. Stay blessed, and until next time, may your journey be filled with joy and peace. Amen.